Okay, so I am starting this tutorial with my hair stretched. It's best to start with stretched hair because you'll get a more defined curl pattern if you do so. So if the first thing I'm going to do is section my hair away. I'm clipping my hair away so that I can deal with one section at a time and not have the other hair interfering. So I've clipped my hair away. I am going to start with a section size about this size here. And the first thing I'm going to do is use my wide tooth comb to detangle my hair. I'm doing this not only to detangle my hair, but also to kind of get rid of any little curl pattern that is left. When you want to do this flex your outset, you want to start with hair that doesn't have your curl, natural curl pattern interfering. That's why I start with stretched hair and then I comb it out to further stretch it and get rid of my curl pattern. So now my hair is, you know, stretched as it can be. And as you can see, my curl pattern is not apparent and this is the best state to start your hair in. So because um, I actually can't find my spray bottle, what I did is I actually wet my hands and I work my wet hands through my hair in order to get my hair damp. This is what I do when I can't find my spray bottle. This is how I improvise. So then I'm using the Inspired by Made Beautiful Leave-In Detangling Conditioner. And y'all, this surprised me because I was not expecting when I sprayed this product to, for it to spray like a straight stream as you see here. I was a little surprised. And then on top of that, when I like rubbed my hands together, I was a little surprised again because it actually like lathered in my hands. And like I had to check the bottle to make sure I was using the right product but all in all I actually really like this product it actually really does a good job of detangling my hair like it says so that's a bonus so then I'm using the inspired by made beautiful manageability milk styling lotion I'm going to squirt like a pea size amount into my hand per section and then I'm just gonna work that into my hair and just smooth that into my hair right after I used the leave-in and after this, I like to detangle my ends with um, my brush. This is, step is so important in ensuring that your ends go smoothly over the flexi rod. I like to take the extra step to detangle my ends just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. And because I have a few pieces of my hair that are shorter than the other, whenever I roll my hair on a flexi rod, not all of my hair goes on the flexi rod at the same time. So what I like to do is I like to roll my ends on the, onto the flexi rod until all of my hair is secured onto that flex rod and then I'm going to twist and then I'm going to roll and then I'm going to twist as you can see here and then roll underneath and then I secure the flexi rod and that is actually all I do so I'm going to show you guys how I do it again first I detangle my hair with my wide tooth comb and then I use my wet hands to dampen my hair and then I use my leave-in and I spray that into my hands and work that into my hair make sure that it's all nice and smooth and then I take my my styling product and I apply that on top just to this is for definition and hold um, and then I'm just going to work that through my hair and then I'm going to take my brush and detangle my ends this like I said this is to ensure that my ends go smoothly over the flexi rod and then I am going to roll my ends into the flexi rod at until all of my hair is secured all those little pieces that are sticking out are secured into the flexi rod and i'm just going to keep rolling that until they are all secured and once they once i that means i have to usually have to roll it a few more times so once it is fully secured like it is here i'm going to twist my hair and then roll it and then twist the flexi rod and then roll it all the way until i get to the root and then secure that flexi rod and that is another section that is done so i'm gonna show you guys how i did it again i'm going to take my section i had already detangled it um, and then i'm going to use my hand my wet hands to work the water in my hair and then i'm going to use my leave-in and just work that on top just to moisturize the leave-in is to moisturize my hair and smooth it out and then i'm going to use my styling products of course like i said for hold definition and everything like that and work that on top of my hair then i'm going to take my paddle brush not my paddle brush i don't even know what type of brush this is and just detangle my ends so that it is all nice and smooth and then at this point i'm just going to make sure my hair is as smooth as it can get and then I'm going to roll my end onto the flexi rod. On this section, all of my hair touched the flexi rod without any issues. So I just rolled it a few times. Then I twist the flexi rod. I roll it. Then I twist. Then I roll until I get to the roots. So at this point, you can kind of see how I'm, what I'm doing here. And I don't really need to repeat it again. So this morning, I am going to take some type of oil. Today, I'm using avocado oil. And I'm just going to kind of like put it in my hands like I'm applying lotion so that the oil gets all over my hands to help in making sure that my hair is not frizzy when I take it down. And so here I am just unraveling the flex rod in the opposite direction that I rolled it in just so that it keeps the defined curl of the flexi rod set. 
So as you can see here, like I said, I'm just unraveling it in an opposite direction. And if it needs any help, I may twirl it with my finger a little bit. At this point, I am trying to be gentle just to make sure that I don't cause any additional frizz. So now that I'm gonna actually start separating my hair, I'm gonna apply a little bit more oil to my hands, just again, to prevent some frizz. Um, and then I'm just going to take one section at a time and what I'm going to do is actually twirl the curl before I even separate it just to see what direction I actually rolled the flex rod in because sometimes I forget so I roll it with I take my finger and I twirl the curl by itself and if it curls in that way I know okay that's the way I rolled the flex rod in and when I separate I'm going to re-twirl it again just to um, prevent frizz and keep the curl defined as I am separating so as I separate I twirl around my finger just to keep that curl defined and to reduce the amount of frizz. But in order for me to tell which direction I twirled it in, I have to twirl the big clump before I separate the little ones. Because all my hair, I didn't roll all my hair in the same direction. So some I rolled two at the front and some I did two at the back just because it adds a little bit more dimension to your flex rod set and doesn't make your flex rod set look too uniform. And so here, like I said, that's what I'm doing again. I'm just separating each section and I'm twirling them around my finger to keep it nice and defined until I finished all my hair. Again, I'm also being very gentle and I really don't want to cause a lot of frizz on here. So I am, even though I sped this up, I did take my time to separate my curls. I am also trying my best to separate the curls where it naturally wants to separate. Again, this is preventing further frizz. So once my hair is all separated, I'm really just massaging my scalp just to get rid of any visible parts. This is just to make my hair not look so, you know, like I just came out of a flex rod set. Um, so I'm just going to shake my hair a little bit, lift some pieces, and just figure out at this point how do I want to style it. I put my hair up like this and I realized I really like this mohawk look. So I was like, alright, I'm going to style my hair in a mohawk. So I just took this scarf off my edges after laying my edges down and I pinned my hair in a mohawk. I do have a tutorial on how I do my um, frohawk. So I'll link that in the iCards in the description box below if you want a detailed um, video on how I do this frohawk. But that's how I just put my hair in it, just because it really showcases my curls and it still looks really cute without me having to just wear all my hair all down, just plain and simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in my next video.